Yo, what's up guys? So today we're going to be checking out some new Yu-Gi-Oh cards and we have a new Malefic confirmed over here. If you guys are excited about hopefully maybe getting good Malefic support, maybe in the future, drop a like on this video because I've always wanted to see these guys be a little bit more viable. They're really cool. They got massive amounts of attack, but they're literally just summon and then the attack and that's it. Like they don't have really any cool effects. So hopefully this guy will be good. We got a new Samsara Dragon and then I guess we got an Alligator Archetype kind of emerging here. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out some of these newer Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So first off, I want to check out the Malefic uh, Paradigm Dragon. Uh, anyways, so it is going to be Malefic Paradigm Dragon, and here is the artwork on it. 4,000 attack, 4,000 defense points, and it is a Dark Dragon monster, and it is level 10. So anyways, it cannot be normal summer set. must be special summon from your hand by banishing one Malefic monster from your extra deck. A Malefic from the extra deck? While Malefic Paradigm Dragon is not on the field, so basically you can only get one. Okay. First effect is, if Malefic World is not on the field, destroy the card. Oh. The Malefic World is like, it's a pretty mediocre card to be honest. It doesn't really protect him. Anyways, next up, second effect. Once per turn, you get to send a Malefic card from your deck to the graveyard. You cannot attack for the rest of the turn except for with Malefic Monsters. Also return one of your banished level 8 Synchro Monsters to the extra deck. And then you could special that monster from the extra deck. Okay, that's actually a pretty cool effect, but the only card that I guess you would banish, unless you're trying to intentionally banish your own cards by like sending them with Gale Dagra or something like that and then banishing them later for some other effect um what would you actually be getting Stardust Dragon like in the vanilla like in like the actual Malefic deck that's what you'd be getting because the other dragon over here let me go ahead and clear these cards out of the way so I guess the idea is you would summon your Malefic Stardust Dragon by banishing of course regular Stardust Dragon and then you have that effect where you return a banished, and again, it has to be level 8 Synchro Monsters. Uh, so you can't even go for, like, the, the, the Malefic Synchro that no one ever makes, which is 10. I mean, at, if they let you go for 4,000 to 4,000, I guess maybe you would have, like, some viability if you were Geki or Dark Hole your opponent. But at the end of the day, you still can't really go for this. And then you're still stuck with Malefic World, which doesn't really protect your monsters anyways, and you lose out your normal draw phase. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know where this is going, but hopefully we'll get some better support. Um, I just think that it's just very mediocre, especially because that Synchro Monster that you get out, you can only attack with Malefics, so then you can't even bring, like, maybe they're going to be making some other new Malefic cards, and this is just the hint towards it, but I don't see this card being very good at all. Let me know, guys, how you feel about it. I was really excited because, you know, they just announced the, the first new Malefic, and it's just meh. But again, maybe we'll get some better level 8 Synchro Monsters specifically that are also Malefic too, that require you to banish them and then the deck will be much better. I think they really just need more protection and more consistency and more negations. They need a lot. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and check out some of the other new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. These are all going to be coming out in the V-Jump for the subscription promos, which, well, unfortunately we don't get them here in the TCG anymore, so it'll be in some other form. Anyways, Dark Alligator over here is a new Reptile Archetype. The card artwork does look pretty cool. It is going to be a Dark with 2,500 attack and 2,300 defense. And, of course, it's going to be Reptile because it's Alligator. Uh, level 8. So it says that you can tribute summon this card by tributing one Reptile Monster. When this card is tribute summon, you get to... Uh, you can special summon alligator tokens, reptile dark level 1, attack 2000, uh, defense 0 up to the number of reptile monsters tributed for this card's uh, summon. The second effect is, if this tribute summon card is destroyed battle or by opponent's card effect while it's in its owner's monster zone, you get to add a reptile monster from your deck to your hand except for dark alligator. I'm not really too familiar with the archetype of reptiles or like the, you know, um, class, but I think that the only time I ever really messed around with it was like Venomanaga. Surprisingly, the aliens are like some of them reptiles. But I just don't know if this is going to be what they needed. Someone, if you guys got really cool combo ideas, let me know. But I feel like because you have to use more monsters to get this card out, yeah, you get more tokens, but then they, they're level 1. Maybe you need it for something else, and it'll make sense later down the line. But nonetheless, we got Rep Reptia Egg over here. So it's level 1 Earth with 0 uh, attack and 0 defense points. And uh, this one is an Earth. And uh, anyways, you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per The first effect is can't be destroyed at battle. Second effect is during your next standby phase after this card was normal summon, you get to tribute it. Special summon up to three level four or lower reptile or rock monsters from your hand or deck. If you summon two or more monsters, they must have the same name, but banish them during the end phase. I mean, this could be pretty good, like, like insanely good, but you have to one normal summon it. And then you have to let it survive with zero attack, and your opponent can keep on attacking into it because it has zero. 
That just seems terrible. I mean, on top of it, it doesn't get its effect when it's special summoned. So if you, like, special summon it somehow, and then you can, like, Genex Ally Birdman, bounce it back to your hand, then normal summon it. <laughs> Good luck is all I have to say with this, but maybe with, like, a Wabaku, you can try to mitigate it, but your opponent's gonna be bouncing it back. They're not gonna let you get this effect off. I mean, yeah, the effect is insane getting three monsters, but if you summon two or more, they gotta have the exact same, the, the same name, so that means you can't draw any of them, because it only, uh... Oh no, it is hand or deck. So if you draw them, I guess that, that helps out. But I don't really know the reptile archetype too much other than Venomonaga, but maybe this will help for a Venomonaga deck. But again, I just think that its effect is too slow. If it also said that your opponent cannot target this card, then we're looking at something a little bit better. But because you can target it, it's just going to be bounced back at the end of the day. Uh, that's the way I see it. And again, you're using your normal summon up and you just leave it there. So they're probably just going to OTK at you. <laughs> Anyways, next up we have uh, Sam Sara Dragon over here, which is going to be a light level 1, 0 attack, 0 defense monster over here. And it's going to be a dragon that says that you can only use this card's name second effect once per turn. The first effect is it can be treated as two tributes for the tribute summon of a dragon monster. The second effect is you can banish this card from your graveyard, target one level 5 question mark or higher dragon monster graveyard, add it to your hand, then immediately after this effect resolves, you can tribute summon it. Okay, maybe for like Heretics or something like that. Um, is it, it tribute summon the dragon that's in your hand? Um, kind of strange on the wording, but nonetheless, that is a Samsara Dragon. Might be an okay potential card, uh, depending on, of course, I don't know why they're showing it with the same reptiles, but this is what was announced. Anyways, the next one up over here, I thought it was very interesting because they're hyping it up, and when, you know, there's a lot of times they hype up nothing, but I thought it was interesting. So this is Cockathorium, the Super Heavy Shining Sword, and that says that it synergizes well with the structure deck Dragoon Drive R, according to Vijo. You know how they're trying to mix two archetypes together? That's like the new Yu-Gi-Oh thing, right? Where we got like Phantom Knights and then um, the Raid Raptors. Like we're trying to mix things for whatever reason. I, is this going to be super heavy Samurai mixed in with Dragoonities? That's going to be a very strange mix up if that's what th they're planning to do. I don't know. Like I said, they're hyping the card up. as a, It is a wind. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what it is. But if you guys want to guess down below in the comment section below, what the heck is this card going to do? Let me know. That's it for the new Yu-Gi-Oh cards, guys, today. I was really hoping the Malefic because we're going to be spicy, to be honest. Because I got pretty hyped up because, like, I actually played Malefic deck. The deck was so stupidly easy to play. But who knows? Maybe they got a lot more support, and uh, we'll see what they get in the future. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new here, subscribe, turn on that bell so you don't miss out on more new Yu-Gi-Oh cards when they get announced. And if you guys want to send me replays of anything, maybe you got some really cool alligator combo with this, I would love to see this. Because this card, again, has an insane effect, but it's just really hard to pull off. But... Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'm going. I'm signing out. Peace.